I'm continuing my series of how-to videos by talking about how to create a read-only view. There are several circumstances where it might be appropriate to have a read-only view for a form. One example would be an expenses claim or budget request or any other official process regarding money. You will want to keep the form for your records but you want to be sure that people aren't going to mess around with the figures after the process is completed. Creating a view is simple. You just go to this Views menu option, then choose to add a new view. Now I give the view a name. The view is created empty. I could add in fields or move things around, but it's easier just to select the content from the first view and copy it. I paste the content into the new view. I want this view to be read only and again it's very simple to do this. I click on view properties and then I check this box saying read only. While I'm here I'm going to choose not to allow the view to show on menus. This means that people can't choose to switch to this view. I'll do the same on the original view. If I wanted to, I could change the layout or format of this view, add or remove fields, put new controls in here, and so on. What I need to do now is work out a way to ensure that the read-only view opens instead of the main view at the appropriate time. I'm going to show you one way to manage this, but it's not necessarily the only method. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a field to the schema of this form. I'm going to add it here in the data source menu. This means that the field is there in the form, but it's not visible in either view. I'll name this field view number, set the type to be an integer, and give it a default value of 1. I have this button. At the moment, when the user clicks on it, it submits the form. Now I'll go into the rule associated with the button. I want to add an action that sets a field value. I'm going to make a rule that says when a user clicks on the button, the view number field is set to 2. This is all well and good, but now I need to set a rule to make sure that the correct view is shown. I'll go to Tools and Form Options. The tab that's displayed is this Open and Save tab. I'll click on this button to set rules for open behaviour. I will add a simple rule to check the value of the View Number field. Now, if the view number field equals 2, the form will automatically open in the read only view. Now we have a form that, when the user opens it, will check this view number. The first time the form is opened, it will open to the default view. After someone has clicked the submit button, it will open up in the read only view, and the users won't be able to switch back. This is a very simple form. You might want to apply this principle to create forms linked to processes that switch between multiple views at different stages of the process.